It's fall, y'all, and fall means apple baking. We're making a delicious caramel upside down apple cake. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is line our pans with parchment paper. We're gonna butter our pans and line it with parchment. And this is an easy way that I find to cut the parchment into a circle without too much stress. The simplest definition of caramel is simply sugar heated at high temperatures. So we are taking our brown sugar and we're just gonna add it to our butter and we are putting this on heat and we don't wanna burn it. Be very careful not to burn it, but we do want it to come to a simmer, a slow, low simmer. And that's about where we stop. We're not adding milk to this. This is not your hard caramel. This is so simple and easy to do. Anyone can do this. You are then gonna cut up your apples and you're gonna place them on top of your caramel and your apples can have blemishes. It's gonna bake off in the oven. So these are the apples on the counter that no one wants to eat because it has a little brown spots. This is the perfect apple to use. And the caramel is gonna harden on you a little bit. And you're going to start to worry. You're going to think, ooh, shouldn't it still be liquidy, soft? No, it's going to harden, but the oven is going to totally change it. So don't worry about that. The bottom of the apple layer is the layer that is going to be visible when you turn it upside down. So you want to try to make it as pretty as possible. And you can just do one layer, but I wanted it to be plenty apples. I wanted to use all the apples on my counter. So I did a double layer and it didn't fit in that pan because then I had no space for my batter. So I had to move it and it worked out really good. I didn't make a mess. I was proud of myself. I was kind of worried. And we're just going to go ahead and make our batter now. If you don't have apple pie spice, go ahead and use pumpkin pie spice make your own spice mixture or just plain cinnamon don't even stress about it and when you are finished with your batter you're going to pour this on top of your apples and you're going to bake it in the oven at 350. it's going to take 55 minutes or more because i used a lot of apples and the apples is going to release its own juices i had to bake it slightly longer and i didn't want it to over brown so i covered it with foil at the very end, just to make sure it didn't get too brown on top, but it's still baked through. And obviously if you have less apples or just one layer, it's gonna bake a little less time. So you're gonna have to kind of keep an eye on it. And I am, I don't know if I ever told you, but one time I um, zested my skin and I am so petrified of the zester. <laughs> Every time I pull it out, if you know, if you watch me zest, I am, so careful, petrified of this zester. It is sharp. And this is such a simple batter. We're gonna finish this off by hand. And if you use the mixer to finish it off, that's totally fine. But using your hand kind of gives you um, a, a lighter batter because you're not, you know, m developing as much gluten. You remember, you never, when you add your flour, you never want to overmix because that's when you can make your batter tough or your cake tougher or your whatever you're baking. So I'm just going to do the rest by hand and I'm going to fold and then just mix it just enough to get it as smooth as I want it.
and our cake is now done. I'm just gonna leave this five minutes and then I'm gonna turn it over. That's why we put the parchment because if you allow it to cool in the pan, guess what? It's gonna stick because the caramel is going to stick. So you just gotta go in and get ready and just do it. You can't think about it, you just gotta do it. And, whew, flip that over. And when it goes over without spilling, oh, you can breathe. And it is hot and delicious. You can smell all of the spices and you can smell the caramel, you can smell the apples. And this is when you wanna look and see, did it, did the pattern come out? Oh yes, the pattern is so pretty. It could be perfect, -er, but hey. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just eat this now because I love hot apple pie with ice cream. So I'm gonna eat my upside down apple cake with ice cream. It is delicious. You got to try this. So simple, so easy. Use up those apples on your countertop and make this. Wow your family and friends with pumpkin spice latte cupcakes and a cake that is a candle? Is it a cake or a candle? <laughs>